or down by law, so get down. This is what mm. neighbors heard. Inside their homes at the village at Town Square in Suitland just before 6.30 Thursday night. The blinds were closed. Uh, you can see actually the... Andy was in his kitchen at the time when bullets came flying through the window and into the wall. I, I got lucky uh, at this point. I'm just extremely lucky that I didn't get hit. Unfortunately, a teenage boy was struck and killed. 24 hours later, this community meeting was held in a courtyard. Where? <laughs> Suitland, man. Suitland is Blackistan. Let me find out they got white people living in Suitland now. What the hell is going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> Suitland is Blackistan. That's PG County, man. Suitland got to be 80, 90% black, man. Historically, got to be. Historically, got to be 90% black. But even now, man, it got to be at least 80% black, man. Wow. Wow. They got white people in Suitland now. Maybe that'll make it safer. Maybe that'll make it safer. Maybe that'll make it safer, man. White people, they have meetings and shit like, yeah, Suitland is... <laughs> Suitland is 93% African American, okay. And 3.86% white. I about I was like, yeah, I knew I knew Suitland was black as that. It's 93%. All right. So that make a but what the hell is these white people doing around here, man? All oh, these new condos. Oh. These new condos, these new houses, these new townhouses, okay. <laughs> All this new expensive stuff, man. That's where the white people come in, okay. This is what neighbors heard. Inside their homes at the village at Town Square in Suitland just before 6.30 Thursday night. The blinds were closed. Uh, you can see actually the... Andy was in his kitchen at the time when bullets came flying through the window and into the wall. I, I got lucky at this point. I'm just extremely lucky that I didn't get hit. Unfortunately, a teenage boy was struck and killed. 24 hours later, this community meeting was held in a courtyard. Where is the responsibility on our police department for nearly two hours? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Bitch, you was, I don't hear you whining about the police. I'm tired of you damn liberals whining about the police. Fuck you. As soon as the white, as soon as the police officers have to treat one of them monkeys like a goddamn monkey, or one of them goddamn animals like an animal, they shoot their ass or beat their asses up. You gonna be bitching and whining about it. You gonna have another meeting. That's a. The next meeting, she <laughs> these people are trip, man. She gonna throw another meeting. Where is the? Why did little Trunk Quavius have to die? Little Trunk Quavius didn't have to die. Reaching for a police officer's gun is not a death sentence. He deserved to stay in court. Same bitch gonna be saying that shit in a month, a month from now. Shut your bitch ass up. 24 hours later, this community meeting was held in a courtyard. Where is the responsibility on our police department? For nearly two hours, neighbors shared their concerns. We gotta start asking for more. From package theft to car break. We gotta stop asking for more. <laughs> Why don't you go talk to them, brother? <laughs> Why don't you go pull them little young boys decide, brother? Let me talk to you, brother. Man to man. I'm your brother. 
I'm your reflection, brother. Let me talk to you. The way, the path you're going down is going to only lead to two things, brother. The cemetery or the penitentiary, brother. I want to save you, bro. Why don't you put go talk to talk to them, huh? See how that work out. See how that work out. Neighbors shared their concerns. We got to start asking for more. From package theft to car break-ins to Thursday night's deadly shooting. They say this is unacceptable. Noel has lived here about two years. I said, what I can do is, is, is move or fight. She and her neighbors want to count. Wait a second. Y'all ready to move from these? <laughs> Yo, look, these shits is like new. These shits are brand new. The road don't even got no cracks in it, man. Ain't no grass growing between the goddamn concrete. These shits are brand new. What, hold on, let me see. the. Next, they, they already talking about moving. Sons, sons are terrorists. Let me see what's the name of this place. This is what neighbors heard. Inside their homes at the village at Town Square in Suitland. The village at Town Square. Let me see this shit. Let me see how old this shit is. Because these people are already talking about moving, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> Time out, man. I know these people are already talking about moving, man. This is this is ridiculous, man. No way, man. Y'all ain't <laughs> unbelievable. Sons are terrorists. Sons are terrorists. This place is a couple years old, man. Shout out to Adolf Diversity. <laughs> Yo, this is insane, man. This place, they just built this place and these people are already talking about moving, man. The hell? What the fuck? What the? It was developed in early 2020. Yeah, they just built this place in 2020, man. <laughs> and these people already talking about moving, man. This shit is sad, man. You sons ain't shit, man. <laughs> you goddamn sun turns ain't shit, man. Y'all are pests. Y'all are pestilence, man. I'm going to bully y'all, man. We got to bully sons, man. We got to bully sons, man. They bullying people, man. They deserve to be bullied, man. I need to put a poll up, man. Do y'all? I want to know, do y'all think we should we should bully sons over here, man? This shit is... This shit is uh, I don't like this shit, man. These people, they, they just built... <laughs> They just built this shit, man. And these people are already talking about moving. This is a nice place, man. Wow, man.
Wow, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is This is insane, man. This place is built in 2020 and these people are already talking about moving. And these people pay a lot too. This is the suburbs. These people are paying a lot to live in the suburbs. They're paying a shit ton to live in the suburbs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Sons of fuck up everything, man. This annoys me, man. This annoys me, man. They fuck up everything, man. Welcome to Village at Town Square. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Colleen. And I'm Michelle. And we're your sales team here at the Village at Town Square. The perfect combination of lifestyle, location, and luxury in Suitland. Discover a planned on-site grocery store, 125,000 square feet of shops and restaurants, and much more. You'll love the modern living without the hustle and bustle. Oh, and did I mention the price tag of the city? At your doorstep, you'll find a performing arts facility, a walking trail, outdoor fitness park, all of this and more to gather with neighbors and friends. Walk to Suitland Metro with direct routes into D.C. for a quick and easy commute and all that D.C. has to offer. Our homes offer urban inspired exteriors with carefully selected facades. In addition, each townhome includes up to a two car garage. And once you step inside, wow. The updated open concept floor plans and finishes will make you never want to leave. From the large kitchen island to the new appliances, the kitchen is equipped with everything you need to feel like a gourmet chef. At the end of a long day, your private sanctuary awaits, complete with a luxurious owner's bath, spacious bedroom, and large walk-in closets. Entertaining just got better with our fourth level floor plans offering rooftop decks. Plus, we have a variety of down payment options to make it even more affordable than ever to start the process. Take the next step by visiting us today and let's start this journey together. Little did they know, man. Make sure you support the channel via PayPal Cash App with a Super Chat. Take the $5 challenge, man. Hit the like button, man. Smash that like button. It's insane, man. This is what neighbors heard. Inside their homes at the village at Town Square in Suitland just before 6.30 Thursday night. The blinds were closed. Uh, you can see actually the... Andy was in his kitchen at the time when bullets came flying through the window and into the wall. I got lucky. At this point, I'm just extremely lucky that I didn't get hit. Unfortunately, a teenage boy was struck and killed. 24 hours later, this community meeting was held in the courtyard. Where is the responsibility on our police department? For nearly two hours, neighbors shared their concerns. We got to start asking for more. From package theft to car break-ins to Thursday night's deadly shooting, they say this is unacceptable. Noel has lived here about two years. I say what I can do is, is, is move or fight. She and her neighbors want accountability. Brandon has lived here about four years. We're all just very frustrated about all the crime and, and the lack of, of you know, our, our, our you know, representatives doing anything about it. From elected... Brandon, man, why don't you start a program, man? Give back. Give back to your community, man. Mentor some of these youths, Brandon. Why don't you wake up early on the weekend after a long week of work? 
to go mentor some of these little pickaninnies, man. Come on, Brandon. We need brothers. We need brothers to take charge of this situation, man. Lived here about four years. We're all just very frustrated about all the crime and, and the lack of, of you know, our, our, our you know, representatives doing anything about it. From elected officials to the police department, the people these neighbors say promised them they'd be able to live and walk safely in their community. Suitland is a great community, yep. but it needs help. It needs support. It needs resources. And you throw us into. Oh, so we need free shit. Give the gangsters free shit, huh? So we need to give the gangsters hugs and free shit. And that's going to stop it, right? That's going to stop them from terrorizing y'all over here at the, uh, wherever the fuck this is, the town square at homes, whatever the fuck. <laughs> so Miss Mulatto says, give them free shit. <laughs> give, give the gang bang, give the gangsters free shit. Cause these ain't even gang bangers. These are just hood niggas. This D, this PG County, this hood niggas. Give them, give them free shit. <laughs> Suitland is a great community, yep. but it needs help. It needs support. It needs resources. And you throw us into this saying that we're going to get that, and we haven't. And this is why you're seeing what we saw yesterday when, unfortunately, a young life was lost right in the park where my god kids, her kids could have been playing. No one from the police department or county was in attendance. This group says they plan to continue fighting for accountability together as one. We're going to execute that, and we're going to just hold our representatives accountable to do something about it. In hopes that this doesn't happen again. In Suitland, Maryland, Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. Wow. Wow. This is a children's playground that serves this new townhouse development. And take a look over here. About 640 tonight, it was still light out. There were children out here playing. There were people in this courtyard. Gunshots rang out. And you can see over there, that is where police located a man suffering fatal gunshot injuries. They say they very much need the public's help to find out who shot and killed this man and injured another man. We're in a residential area, so there's likely people that have doorbell cameras or, you know, a nice evening like this. There was probably a lot of witnesses outside. So we're urging anybody who has information or perhaps video footage to come forward and you can. Ma'am, do you know how terrified it is when you're just a middle class person? That, you know, paying $200,000, $300,000 for a townhouse in a new development, you, will, you don't even got no damn kids. You just there, just living, working every day. And you're hanging outside on a wonderful sunny day and some goddamn fire-breathing Bloody fang, red eye, nappy tarantula headed Negroes run up and execute somebody right in front of you. It's not easy to come forward, man. It's terrifying, man.